For Lost Country, director Vladimir Parasik dug deep into a very personal history. The film, which premiered in King Critics Week and will be screened at the Sarajevo Film Festival on Saturday, August 12, follows a young, Serbian teenager in Belgrade who gets caught up in the mass student protests against the authoritarian regime of Serbian President Slobodan Milosevic, the protests, which started in Belgrade in 1996 and spread nationwide, were in response to electoral fraud. In the 1996 local elections, Milosevic's Socialist Party of Serbia had lost several key cities, but Donald Trump-like was refusing to accept the results. The protests lasted more than three months, which I checked, makes them the longest student protest in the history of Europe, and had a real carnival atmosphere, recalls Parasik, who was 19 at the time and got swept up in the spirit of civil disobedience. It was less about political discourse or any kind of ideology than, carnival-like, about inverting the power relations in society. For me, and for a lot of people at the time, it triggered a kind of inner revolution. In the film, the protests have a similar impact on 15-year-old Stefan, played by newcomer Jovan Jinnik, who finds himself caught between the upheaval in the streets, and at school amid his anti-Milosevic classmates and his loyalty to his family of staunch Milosevic supporters. Stefan's own mother, Marklina, is the spokeswoman for the regime. She goes on television every night to spread the government's lies. Stefan overhears her talking on the phone, planning a police crackdown to violently suppress the demonstrations.